Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Dumb Fanatic, and welcome to a Pokemon X and Y Y for battle I have today against Twerkle. I will leave a description to his YouTube channel in the description below. I am not going to hesitate in getting straight into this battle. It's a mixed tier battle, some fun Pokemon we're using, so you'll see some weird and unusual sets and some lower used Pokemon too. So he starts off with Need a Queen, expecting to go for the Stealth Rocks and stay, and I go for the Skull, trying to get the burn because this thing's probably going to be physically. Uh, well, actually, it could be specially offensive or physically offensive. But obviously, the burn's going to be quite nice against the wall. However, he decides he's going to switch out here because he cannot take another school. He does not want to take another school. Um, I go for the knockoff here, expecting him to want to switch into Trevenant. Obviously, I knock off the Citrus Berry. I'm not sure if Harvest works if you knock off the Citrus Berry or not. So, uh, but we don't really get a chance to find out, as you'll see later on. I'm not going to stay on this thing. He's probably not going to go straight for it. I mean, he might have a Horn Leech. Some carry Horn in. Horn Leech. Um, I don't want to stay in and risk it though. I go into Arcanine because it's a pretty safe switch. He can't burn me. Um, if he goes for a Grass Move, it's not going to do much. If he goes to the Leech Seed, that's fine. He can do so because I'm just going to switch straight back out here, expecting him to switch, I believe, anyway. Or alternatively, if I feel ballsy, I can just go straight for the Flare Blitz. But after Stealth Rocks and Leech Seed, uh, I've lost quite a bit of health. So if I want to switch in and out again quite a few times and use Flare Blitz, I'm not going to live for very long. So in comes Floatzel. Um, expecting him to want to switch out, and he does indeed because he doesn't want to take that Flare Blitz because Choice Band Arcanine just rips holes into teams. In comes uh, <laughs> Derp Coal, and this isn't your ordinary Torkoal. This is actually a Choice Specs Torkoal, which is uh, news to me. So actually, if you watch Mine and Scissors, uh, Mine and Scissors PU uh, sesh we done, this is actually a Flame Orb Switcheroo Bulk Up. Um, Floatzel, and I can't quite one hit KO this to uh, Torkoal, which is a real shame. I was hoping he was the defensive. If he was the defensive variant and tried to burn me, then we could have been in business because I could have just bulked up and then just started to go straight through his team, but that doesn't really happen, which is it's a real shame. Here I go for the Stealth Rock because it's a pretty good chance for me to do it. He's either going to have to switch or stay in to die, and I'm going to resist the Sludge Bomb anyway, so actually it was a really good time to set up the Stealth Rocks. Thankfully, I don't get poisoned, so I now get some leftovers recovery. I am faster, so I can kill him uh, on the next turn. I'm just going to knock off just in case he wants to switch. But with rocks up, he can't come back in uh, because he's not a spinner. Well, he might be a spinner, but he's choice spec, so he's rather funny. So I do get the school kill, uh, the knockoff kill. Now, obviously, he has a free switch into Trevenant again, so he does bring that thing in, and God knows what it wants to do. I think I might, I can't remember, I honestly can't remember what I'm going to do. Obviously I'm not going to want to stay in because, well, I'm just going to completely fail to any grass type move. So I bring in Hylian, my um, Cryogonal, because I can rapid spin. Well, I can't rapid spin this thing. If he wants to go for Elite Seed, I kind of expect him to switch because obviously he's going to be slower and I could finish him off with a freeze dry most likely. Or we'll definitely do a lot of damage anyway. Uh, he gets the Trick Room though, which is really, really scary. But I go for the Pro Play here and make... Or I go for the uh, the rapid spin, expecting him to want to switch out. Not into this thing though. This thing's scary, really scary. Um, he go he has the slow start, obviously. But I spoiler, he does he does stay in long enough to get going. But I think we deal with it pretty well. So I get the rapid spin off. So now Arcanine is free uh, to switch in and out as he pleases. So um, that's really that is key actually to this battle. This rapid spin. Now looking at it again is key to this battle, as you'll see. Uh, my opponent goes for a knockoff, and I do live just about, um, and he does get a crit as well. So actually, after I'm going for a knockoff, uh, if it wasn't a critical hit, I might have been able to live another attack. Uh, so I could have obviously played this out differently, but because I am critical hit, I want to keep this thing around uh, in case I can spin away. I just had to predict the Stealth Rocks again, um, which I think actually happens later on. But I'm going to bring in my Seism Toad, because as I have a Reflect Up, this thing can power up punch all he likes. That's Reflex. <laughs> this is physically defensive. That six damage from a Reggie Gigas, man. This thing, when it's not going, is really not that scary. But obviously, I'm here just to try and school burn this thing. Um, he gets the substitute, which is annoying. So he sub power up punch knock off. I go for my own knock off, trying to get rid of the leftovers, not expecting the substitute. So actually, the knock off doesn't break through, which is quite annoying. So he now has a chance to get a free power up punch off. And there's not that many uh, turns left of Slow Start and Trick Room. So once the Trick Room runs out, his Slow Start will run out, which means he'll be fast again. So the Trick Room's run out, so I am now faster, which is perfect. 
Um, I get the Earthquake off, and the Substitute fades. So now I know I'm faster than him, because he's still a slow start and the Trick Room has finished. So now is my chance to go for a knockoff and uh, see how much damage we can actually do to this thing with the knockoff. Plus, obviously, we can knock off its leftovers so he can't substitute as much. Um, and obviously, he's actually, well, he's pretty much nearly at full health uh, even after the substitute. So this thing is really scary. I can't mess around with it. It's, I can't believe it's in the lower tiers. Well, actually, I can. Its ability kind of holds it back. But, I mean, that's what now. Plus, free reflect is really, really helping right now. Um, take this thing down. So now I have one chance to get the Scald Burn. The Scald Burn would have been really nice. Um, well, actually, no, that's a lie. He's faster now. He goes to the knockoff now. He could have done that a bit earlier. That might have helped kill me in one go here. Uh, I go for the Scald, but obviously, after Scalding the Needle Queen and the Regigigas, Gigas, I do not uh, get the uh, burn, which really sucks, but isn't actually too pivotal, as you will see. So down goes Seismitoad. That's fine. I don't think I really needed Seismitoad, Seismitoad for too much else. Um, but in comes Evi and I hit the Focus Blast, which is brilliant because I really needed to hit that Focus Blast to take this thing down. Um, I could have gone into Arcanine and just close combat, I guess, but I wasn't sure if I was faster than it or not, and I didn't do any calcs. This thing's Scarfed, so it's going to quite easily outspeed. Uh, in comes Queen. Now I'm going to predict him to go for Earth Power here. Uh, if he wanted to go for a Stealth Rock as well, I want to bring in my uh, Hylian Shield. So I'm going to bring it in, and he does go for the Earth Power, which is brilliant. And now I can sh sh uh, shoot, fire, fire off a freeze dry on something. So I'm just going to go up for it. And oh, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover. He's going to go for the stealth rocks. I think this turn, uh, expecting me to probably recover. Actually, he probably predicted me to do this. I could have. Well, I think I went for it because I wasn't sure whether I could take it out. And as this thing's probably defensive, um, it, it might be able to take a freeze dry. So now I go for the freeze dry, and I get a crit. <laughs> I get the revenge crit um, from when he got a knockoff crit on my Hylian shield, which actually lived, which really surprised me, by the way. Uh, in comes Victini, though. This thing's scary. Um, but it isn't a normal Victini, so I go for the rapid spin here to get away with the rocks, uh, kind of leaving this thing in to die. And then this is where stuff gets weird. He goes to the Trick Room. It's a Trick Room Victini. And obviously, when you V create, your speed goes down, which means you're going to get faster and faster in the trick room. So I was like, oh dear, what's going to happen now with the V creating and whatnot? So, um, yep, it takes me out, uh, which I was obviously quite uh, expected. Don't know why he went for the brick break, though. I, it kind of shows me he doesn't. Oh, maybe he didn't want the defense drops because Arcanine might have been able to come in and clean up with air. Uh, What's it called? Extreme Speed. But this is where the fact that I got that second Rapid Spin away comes into massive, massive, massive play. I go for the Extreme Speed because I want to see how much it does. Uh, not much is the answer. He goes for the Bolt Strike. Um, so he does hit. And I am going to live quite, well, I say quite comfortably. Um, well, we'll just say well. Obviously, the Intimidate on this thing probably helped me live that. Uh, I'm going to switch back out. I was kind of hoping he would have gone for the V crate at this point, just so I can E-speed again. But he's not going to do that. So he goes to the Bolt Strike, which I expect. Goes straight into Electivire, trying to take this Bolt Strike really nice, which I do. And now I'm pretty sure... Well, actually, I'm slower because uh, he's... I'm Choice Scarf, but he's in the Trick Room. Or does the Trick Room run out? I don't really know. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to let him V create my uh, Electivire to... Electivire? Electivus to death. So I think it's now 3 on 3 or 3 on 2, and I'm in quite a bad position here. Uh, the He does get the speed drop, the defense drop, and the special defense drop, and uh, the Electivire. Oh, not Electivire, Electibuzz does go down. Um, but I believe that might be the end of the Trick Room uh, at the end of this turn. Yes, it is, which means I can now bring in Meloetta, um, which does carry Shadow Ball. So he makes the switch out of, from Victini and into Trevenant. Now, I don't know if he was just sacking this thing off. I don't know why he would. He obviously wasn't expecting this, or maybe he was, I don't know. The Shadow Ball completely obliterates this thing from uh, from half health. Uh, I, I would outspeed anyway, even Shadow Sneaker. doesn't affect me because I'm a normal type actually, so uh, that's nice. Covers my nice psychic typing weaknesses. In comes a Scavalier, and then this is where this is where I thought I had lost the game. I gave the Focus Blast and miss. And miss. I missed the Focus Blast, and then the knockoff takes me out. And then all hell breaks loose because I I just I resigned at this stage. So all I have left is Arcanine, 
The only thing I can take this, uh, the only attack I have to take out is Gavalier is uh, Flare Blitz. Now, Twerky makes the uh, the wrong play, basically. He makes the wrong play at the stage of this game. He could have just stayed in and the recoil would have taken me out. But he brings in Victini and uh, after Stealth Rocks and Choice Banded Arcanine just takes this thing out with a Choice Banded Flare Blitz. Um, it's not very effective. It is a critical hit. I don't know if it mattered. If this is defensive Victini, he probably did. If it wasn't, then it probably didn't. I do live on 19 HP. Now, obviously, a Scavalier does not have priority. And Flare Blitz is going to completely annihilate this thing. And because the way Pokemon works, I technically faint the... Uh, I, I faint second, so I technically win the battle. So, Twerky, it was literally a nil-nil draw, but I did get the win. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this battle and my narrations. I'm a bit rusty because I haven't done it in a while. And I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.